to the newest segment of Greer TV called Teacher Spotlight. In the Teacher Spotlight, each week I will be interviewing a different fun Greer teacher and asking them some fun questions about personal life, school life, all kinds of things like that. And then I will share the responses with you and I think it'll be really fun. The first teacher I interviewed this week was Mr. Packnick. Um, so let's check out the interview. That's actually a really funny story. So uh, about a year ago, uh, uh, Mr. Ort's class, Mr. Ort's psychology class was doing a, uh, a lesson on memory and how you constantly forget things immediately after you see them. Um, and the example he used in class is how you may have talked to Mr. Packnick today, you might have seen his tie, you know, you might have talked to him, he could be wearing a green tie, you don't know because you totally forget, unless of course you follow some sort of blog about his ties. And that's when uh, a light bulb went off and Isabel decided to do that. She decided to make a blog about my ties and every day now she pops into my classroom at extra help and takes a picture of my tie from Packnick's tie of the day. <laughs> I'd probably be on Late Night with Stephen Colbert, just because I've been a big fan of Stephen Colbert for a long time. Also, I know that he loves Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. It would give us something to talk about quite a lot. Well, it started back, my sister used to work at a, a movie theater, so I got to see a lot of movies for free, uh, which was really awesome. And then it, it actually, I, I thought about the beginning was really in 2007, I watched the Oscars and Daniel Day-Lewis won the Academy Award for Best Actor. He had a really good speech and I just became fascinated with movies and wanted to know more about movies, the making of movies, and really just look at all sorts of movies and the history behind them. That was really where it started for me. I would probably live in New Zealand. I just love the idea of New Zealand. It's a beautiful country. The weather is great. Uh, the, the government is a pretty cool government from what I hear. Uh, it also happens to be where they filmed Lord of the Rings, so that's a pretty awesome place too. Uh, and it just seems like a great location to live. Uh, my, I was giving this a lot of thought. Uh, probably one role model that I have that I can really think about uh, was someone who really inspired me at one point in my college career. Uh, uh, a professor I have, his name was Dr. Perry. Uh, he really challenged me to dive deeper into history and really look at things beyond what are presented to you. Start to think about and think about the people who uh, aren't being talked about, who's not being talked about in history, and really start to look at them and try to understand who's not being talked about and why they're not being talked about. So Dr. Perry from when I was in college uh, was a really, really good influence. <laughs> well, my favorite movie uh, currently is Jaws. That's my favorite movie right now, uh, only because I watch it every single year now. It's the first film I show in my film theory class every year. It's become my favorite movie. It's, it's aged beautifully. It's a great story. Uh, the story behind the movie is great, and I, I just love it. I, it's such a fun movie for me to watch. It's a great way to kick off your summer by watching people get eaten by sharks. It's, it's really fun. It's everything you want in a film. Uh, I guess my favorite genre of music, I listen to a lot of different types of music and it's changed over time. Like when I was in high school, I listened to, I listened to a lot of emo music, but uh, now I really like indie rock music. Like I listen to The Strokes, I listen to like Radiohead, uh, Death Cab for Cutie, things like that. That's really what I get into today. But really anything that comes on, I can probably listen to for quite a little bit, but my preferred genre is probably indie rock. Right? Oh, I'd definitely rather be able to fly. Uh, that would save so much money on gas. It would save so much money. I mean, plane tickets are super expensive, so flying, definitely be able to fly. I would definitely rather win the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, that seems like a really big accomplishment and something very few people get to do. A lot of people can win uh, Olympic medals, but the Nobel Peace Prize is definitely something I would strive for. I have no idea what I'd win it for. Uh, I don't know where I'm solving peace in the world in this situ situation, but I would certainly want to be known for being a Nobel Prize winner. Oh, that's a, that's a really great question. I would probably rather sing everything I read out loud or seeing everything I say out loud, because I realized you read a lot of things. Uh, every single text message you'd have to say out loud, and that seems really weird. Uh, and <laughs> it just would be very weird to say every single thing out loud. So singing, definitely. Uh, and also I can't sing a time of so that would be much more preferred to read everything out loud. All right, that is it for Mr. Packnick's interview. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, like this post. Um, and be sure to keep looking out for more Teacher Spotlight segments coming each week. 
Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.